So inflation, as you can see here, is that based on the consumer price index. The consumer price index is one way of a, of a lot of different ways to look at inflation, but it's the one the Federal Reserve chooses to use. As you can see there, based on that chart, it's high. Um, what, you, what you might not see in that chart though, is this is the 12 month average. As you can see, the most recent month was, was in April and it was at 8.3%. It was down from 8.5, which is really good. But what is also um, really encouraging is that it was like only, if you look at the month data, so like what was inflation in the month of April, because this is an average. So this could be inflation was high 10 and 11 months ago, and now it's not that bad. Um, I don't think we're quite there because two months ago, it was 16%, which is absurdly high, but last month was only 4.1. Um, and, and that is great. If, if those numbers will come out in a week or so for May, and we'll see, was May able to stay down, you know, and have another, you know, three to 6% month, because that would be great. That would show we're moving, we're moving drastically in the same direction or in the right direction. So um, what inflation is, is just a cost of stuff getting, getting more expensive. Why it is a problem is that a lot of time wages don't keep up with, you know, wage growth, especially for a lot of people who are maybe like a fixed income. Um, you know, everything's just getting more expensive and your fixed income isn't going up or your job may have not, you know, given you a 3% raise when inflation is eight, you know, you're actually lost 5% of purchasing power. So the big problem is, is it erodes our savings and it erodes our ability to buy stuff. Um, and that is really bad, generally speaking, for the economy. So, um, you know, we would love that number to come down. I mean, because again, some is okay, but that inflation is the whole problem. Because what happens when you get inflation is there's one way to fix it, right? And that, the way to fix that is to actually kind of manufacture a recession based on what's called demand destruction. So um, for those of you that can remember, which is probably most of the people on this call can remember 1980, this is exactly what Re President Reagan did. So Paul Volcker had been um, appointed by Ford as the Federal Reserve Chairman and Reagan got elected in 1980. The two of them got together and they said, hey, inflation has been high. We actually had something called stagflation, which is, is as bad unemployment, high unemployment and high inflation for 10 years, which no one actually thought could ever exist together. And they said, we need to fix this. We're gonna stop inflation. And to do that, we're gonna jack up interest rates, which no one had ever done before. That's gonna cause inflation to come way down. And then we can slowly reduce interest rates. And I think we can beat inflation. And quite frankly, I was born in 1978. This happened in 1981, that actually worked. So basically in my whole life, we haven't had any inflation. And it's weird that it's a problem now, you know, it's something new. Um, as the slide says, kind of deflation was actually a huge concern for, I mean, in COVID it was a huge concern, but even the several years before that, a bigger problem than inflation is actually deflation. Um, inflation is probably, I know the Federal Reserve kind of shoots for like a 2% inflation, but I think anywhere in, a, in an environment like this between two and four is probably fine. Um, I don't think you need to be at zero to two like we had been for the previous 10 to 15 years. Um, I think two to four would be fine. Um, for those of you who might also be worried about the debt, um, the national debt, I think an interesting advantage to inflation is if the money is worth less, the debt looks smaller, right? So if you had a billion dollars in debt, which we have you know, tens of trillions, but if you had a billion dollars in debt, you owe that debt in American dollars. If those dollars get devalued by inflation by 10%, um, that the, the, the dollar cost of that debt now is now 10% small, right? Because there is 10% kind of more dollars out there, which has caused this inflation. So for people that are worried about the debt, inflation is actually really good. Probably for people on the lower end of the income spectrum, for people that have a, a lot of conservative investments or on a fixed income, inflation is horrible, right? And it, and it can kill you. Um, so inflation is the problem and, you know, interest rates then have to go up, which then kind of kills everything else. So why is inflation a problem? What's causing it? I'm going to go through some of the main causes and do so relatively quickly. 